Sometimes we watch a film to escape the problems of our lives, purely for the sake of entertainment. Other times we find enjoyment in being forced to put a bit more effort into viewing, and maybe even find some delight in the suffering of the characters on screen. We force ourselves to think and develop our own perspectives and opinions on what the film means to us. Here at Art House, we find that some of the most enjoyable and special films are the ones that make you think and consider for yourself. I'd rather walk out of the theater debating the meaning of a film than simply just saying, that was fun, and then instantly forgetting about it. There's one such filmmaker who refuses to spoon feed an audience, and even seems to take a bit of enjoyment in toying with and unsettling them on occasion. This would be none other than Austrian filmmaker, director of Amour, The White Ribbon, and Funny Games, Michael Haneke, or Mikael Haneke. Caché, or Hidden in English, is a 2005 French thriller depicting a well-off Parisian family who start receiving VHS tapes, which are surveillance recordings of their house for hours on end. La cassette fait plus de deux heures. They debate whether this is a prank or an intimidation tactic, and as the tapes begin to get more terrifying and more personal, it tears their family apart and resurfaces old memories and childhood trauma. Despite having a somewhat Hitchcockian premise, the film presents itself very differently than a traditional American thriller. This is purely due to the film's director and some of the techniques he tends to use. The first is that there's absolutely no score, no unsettling music to get us all spooked out. Instead, it relies on silence to achieve the same effect. As the opening credits pop up, the first shot seems like it might be completely still, until a man walks through the frame. Then we hear voices describing the image as being a recording left on their doorstep, and it is paused by the characters. This does a couple of things. The first is that it makes us feel like we're the ones spying on the characters. The second, and the more important element, is that from then on we question the nature of the images we're shown. If a scene begins, and we see an unmoving wide shot, we question whether it's a recording or not, and we search for something hidden within the frame. These longer takes from wide angles encourages the viewer to scrutinize each image, which helps build suspense and forces the viewer to stay glued to the screen for fear of missing some small detail which will solve the film's mystery. I will say, as a piece of advice, avoid distractions while watching this one, or you may walk away feeling as if you missed something and need to view it again. In general, Haneke has a style that feels very unique to him. He often names his main characters, who are usually husband and wife, George and Anne Laurent. He also frequently has important political or social messages hidden in the background of his stories. He's a director who likes to toy with his audiences, such as adding a mystery into his films and leaving the audience without much resolution, allowing them to debate as they leave the theater. He has said many of his films are a response to the type of films that are mainstream releases, and that he prefers to ask questions with his work rather than give answers. With this film, I really struggle with what to include. I so do not want to ruin or spoil any element of the film, because I absolutely love the way it handles the reveal of information to the audience, and I don't want to disrupt that, thereby ruining the suspense. Often new information we receive makes us question previous information, as well as the validity of the information we're receiving and our notion of what the film is truly about. Alors? Alors quoi? Mais enfin, arrête de jouer au con. Si tu l'avais accusé d'avoir fauché son nounours, euh, il voudrait pas se venger 40 ans après. Je ne m'en souviens plus. It sort of feels like a trail of breadcrumbs. We get small pieces of information at a pace that keeps the audience invested because each one piques our curiosity. Each new breadcrumb makes us question who's lying, who's telling the truth, and who is really behind these tapes. I also don't want to lay out any theories, with the hopes that, without my opinions, you'll be more likely to form your own. On nous envoie des vues de la maison. 
visiblement pour nous montrer que nous sommes sous surveillance. Voilà, avec les allées venues de Anne, les miennes, celles de Pierrot. Alors, vous ne savez pas qui filme ça et comment bah, Jusqu'à présent, non. On fait voir. Hein. Bah, voilà. In trying to think of similar films to make a comparison, or discuss influences and films influenced by Cachet, I can't really think of another film quite like this without naming other Michael Haneke films, which is a sign of a true auteur and an essential art house film.